So this movie was not what I was expecting in the slightest from the title. A Writer's Odyssey is brought to us by director Yang Lu and stars... Okay, here we go. Jalen Lee, Zai Jang Dong, and Mi Yang. Sure, I just nailed all that. Six years after the abduction of his daughter, a man is hired to kill the author of a novel. But the world of the novel intersects with reality. Okay, so A Writer's Odyssey, which by the way is just not a good name, is kind of a mishmash of real world reality and fantasy. The basic idea behind the story is that this novelist is writing a fantasy novel. And everything he writes in this fantasy world has something that happens similar to it in our world and it starts to affect certain people in our world that are the characters within the fantasy world but not because he knows any of these people or anything just because I guess that's how it worked out I know that sounds really fucking confusing which it kind of can get that way but it's done pretty well and you understand it as you're watching the movie the story is actually really cool and pretty damn creative I really like how they interwove the two worlds together it's not like the exact same thing that happens in this world happens in that one but it's usually kind of like the outcome of what happens in this one is the same as in this one over here or there's like similarities and that was really neat to see the story unfold in these two worlds this movie looks great like it is visually arresting and not just the fantasy world which yeah that looks amazing but even in the real world setting everything there the way it's shot just the colors they use and just how vibrant some scenes are it looks really good there and they even shot the two worlds in two different aspect ratios that was pretty Neat. It's something that you like don't immediately notice, but it does make a big difference. Every time there is a shift, you know it. And sometimes that shift is really seamless and you're just like, oh, wait a minute. Now we're in this world. We were just in the other world a minute ago. And they do that really well in this movie. Now the movie gets unexpectedly really dark in some parts of it. And I don't mean like dark, like you can't see. I mean like the subject matter, the tone, just kind of not necessarily out of nowhere, but you don't expect it to get as dark as it gets in some parts. Like, it's really kind of fucked up some of the stuff that they touch on in this movie. I was like, okay, I was not expecting that in a movie like this. But, you know, they go there. For the most part, though, the movie's not that dark. It's actually pretty fun and exciting. And that extends to the action scenes as well. This isn't like wall-to-wall -wall action, but there is quite a bit of it in here. And when the action does kick off in this movie, it's done really well. There are some really fun, exciting, and just overall pretty awesome action scenes in this movie. The ending, especially, is just like fucking batshit crazy over the top they throw in some crazy shit including some comedy that i just wasn't expecting but somehow it just all makes sense and it's really fun and really entertaining the ending of this movie was very satisfying and just pretty kick-ass all around like you've got like these mythological knights wielding giant gatling guns fighting giant four-armed monsters and trees and armor comes to look just just all kinds of crazy shit and it was a fucking delight to watch. If nothing else, this movie ends on a hell of a high note. Overall, the story is more complex than I was expecting it to be, but it's not like the deepest thing in the world, but it's definitely deep enough for what they were going for. That being said, I do wish some of the characters could have been deeper. Now, our main character has some great motivation that we can all get behind, but all the other characters, for the most part, come across a bit thin. Most of the performances we get are really solid. There's just not enough material material there for the characterization and that is probably this movie's biggest achilles heel is the characters they're all kind of one note now from a visual standpoint this movie is a crowd pleaser the stylized visuals of this fantasy world are just pretty fucking awesome overall they are really out there but they all fit this world that they've created the effects as a whole are all great here now some of them do come across as a bit cartoony at times but they all fit within this fantasy environment and they are all creative as hell the movie is just fantastic looking and a visual treat from beginning to end guys while a writer's odyssey does have its flaws i did really enjoy this creative as hell ride the story does get a bit out there at times and it's got some pretty thin characters at the same time though the story is really interesting and more complex complex than I was expecting. The movie looks absolutely fantastic and has a hell of an ending that will please crowds and it is absolutely 
worth a rent. All he wanted was this. To return some videotape. This movie's not perfect by any means, but I had a really good time with it. So if you're looking for a fun, creative as hell fantasy movie for the night, then check out A Writer's Odyssey, and I think you're gonna have a really good time with it. So there it is, guys, my review of A Writer's Odyssey. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you wanna help out the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below and become a jarhead and get some of the awesome benefits to go along with that like these guys, and possibly join my top tier and become a bad motherfucker like my man Greg C and Dragon Con. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy, Beijing. This movie, which by the way, just as a side note, really resembles aesthetically at least, the Xbox 360 game from a while back called Asura's Wrath. So if you're a fan of that, check out this movie. But anyway, this movie is like that right amount of batshit crazy, like that I just love, that over the topness. It's not too far out there, it's pretty far out there, but it's not too far. It knows when to reel it in. Like there's a part in the end when a character is fighting another much larger character and he just like shouts out the moves he's about to do before he does them. Like he's sitting there and he goes human cannon and like shoots up into the air and like hits the big monster thing. It sounds fucking ridiculous when I say it but it's fucking amazing. It is awesome. I love that crazy off the wall shit when somebody's sitting there and they just like yell out the move as they do it. It is so ridiculous but it just fucking works. It is perfection. Video outro!